Welcome to a beginner's guide to Snapback. If you're new to Snapback, this video is the perfect starting point to begin your photo booth journey with our awesome app. We will be covering all the basics, including how to sign up for a Snapback account, exploring the Snapback dashboard, testing out Snapback using the demo event, downloading the Snapback app onto your iOS device, testing the demo event, and finding out which Snapback plan is best for you. First, you will need to create an account with Snapback. You can do this by visiting www.snapback.com. On the home page, you will see a button that says sign up. Click this button and it will take you to a registration page. The link to the sign up page is also available in the caption of this video. On this registration page, you will need to fill in all the required details. Creating an account is free and no payment or payment info is captured at this point. Once you have finished adding your details, click register. Next, you will need to activate your account. You can do this by clicking the link in the email sent to the account that you registered with. Once your account is activated, you can log in to your Snapback dashboard. Let's take a quick tour of your Snapback dashboard. In this top section here, you'll see how many events are currently live, how many events you have done overall, how many media shares you have, and how many photos have been taken at all of your events. Here you will be able to see the latest media from your event. Next to this, you have a calendar which will show you all of your live and future events. If you want to see an overview of your account, you can click on the tab labeled account. On the left, you'll see the account type and what features are included. You can check out what different features each plan has to offer on our website. The link will also be included in the caption below. If you haven't purchased a package, this section will show you the features included with the Pro and Enterprise plans. On the right, you'll be able to see the additional information related to your account, such as account credits, devices and sharing stations. Next, we have the tab labeled Licenses. Here you will be able to see all your account licenses if you are on a monthly or annual package and event licenses. You will be able to see what device and event the licenses are assigned to. You will also be able to revoke and reassign licenses to different devices and events from this view. Please note that if you choose the Pro Plan, you will only receive one photo booth license. If you choose the Enterprise Plan, you will receive one photo booth license and one sharing station license. You can purchase more licenses if you need them. Then we have the Resources tab. Here you can find a few handy Snapback resources to help you with your events, specifically the Help Center which provides additional information and step-by-step -step guides on almost all Snapback features. If you want to translate or change the text seen on the Snapback app or virtual booth, then you can do this easily under the Presets tab. You can also change the stock imagery for the templates that guests see when using the app. Now, let's jump back to the Events tab. Here, you will see all of your live events, upcoming events and past events. You will see that under the live events, there is an event called demo event. This is a test event that we have set up for you so that you can explore the Snapback platform. We'll be going through the setup process, so click on this demo event. Please note that setting up events works best on a desktop or laptop. Before we begin, please note that this demo event is based on an enterprise plan. This will help you utilize a large range of Snapex awesome features. Please do not use this demo event for your first actual photo booth event. It is only meant to be used to showcase how Snapex works. 
He's created a new event after going through the demo to get acquainted with the event seller process. After you have tested the software, you can view the plan options and decide which one would be best for your business. Now let's edit the demo event so that you can get a feel for the software. This is the events dashboard. Here we can see all the different sections that you can edit for your event. Please take note that all photos, GIFs, boomerangs or videos taken in this demo event will be watermarked. First up, you will see the downloads section. When your event is completed, you can download all the media taken at your event by clicking here. Next is the manage section. This is where you can manage your event media, view the event analytics and check your competition winners if you have activated competition. One of the advantages of having the enterprise package is Snapix analytics feature, which captures a variety of statistics like the number of photo views, share status, and impressions to name a few. Now we can move on to the sections where you can set up your event. You can click the edit button in each section to adjust each option. Here we have the event details section. Under features, you can enable what experiences you want to have at this event, as well as choose any add-ons such as green screen, additional licenses, or white label options. Under event info, you can input the details of your event and set the date and time duration. Next, we have the event option section. Here you can select all the features that you want activated at your event. We have a variety of features that you can use to enhance the event experience and also provide value to your customers. For example, if you were doing a corporate event and wanted to capture guest data, you would select the surveys option. Maybe even add competition so that you can engage your audience more and entice them to fill out the survey. You can also enable AVA our advanced analytics to enrich event data by providing more in-depth analytics to your corporate clients, such as age range, gender, and number of faces detected. One of our exciting new features is AI sharing, which I will be adding to this event, which means that I would also need to activate Cure integration, AVA, and microsites so that we can create a beautiful gallery of images for our guests. We do offer a variety of privacy options if your event requires that. For more information on these options, you can check out the Help Center. For now, we will add a password so that the guests don't accidentally exit out of the Snapic app. You will see the surveys and scratch and spin blocks under the event options section. Here you can build and edit your survey as well as set up your prizes and artwork for your competition. On to the sharing section. This section deals with the different ways your guests can share and interact with the photos, GIFs, boomerangs, or videos taken at your event. If you disabled any of these options previously in the event options section, they will not show up here. First, you would need to set up your microsite. This is a great feature to have as it creates a customizable online gallery which will be populated with all the media taken at your event. You can also add your own branding to the microsite and hyperlink your social pages or website for extra exposure. The same can be done for the fully customizable email template here. This is the email that gets sent to guests after they input their email address when it comes time to share their media from the booth. Next up is the Slideshow 2.0 feature. This is a great way to stream the photos, GIFs, boomerangs, or videos taken at your event live onto an external screen. You can also include mini adverts in the Slideshow, which is perfect for a more brandable experience. You can also edit your text messaging, 
printing and social media sharing options here. Now for the effects section. Here you can select or edit the filters, digital props and green screen backgrounds that you want to include in your event. We have added AI background removal functionality to our app. So you do not necessarily have to have a physical green screen backdrop at the event. Instead, the app will automatically remove the background of the image and replace it with the backgrounds that you upload here. Please note that in order to use the AI background removal feature, you will need to purchase credits. You can do this under the Accounts tab. Click the link in the description down below to see how you can set this up and what is needed. The next section, App Experience, allows you to customize various things on the guest-facing Snapback app. This includes the attract screen and buttons. We have a library of pre-made attract screens for you to choose from. Simply click attract screen library. You can also upload your own animated or static attract screens. Here, you can also upload your own animated or static experience buttons. Then right at the bottom here, you have the option to change the preview image. That would be the preview image that you see on the template of the two girls. For more information on how to change the preview image, please see the link in the description down below. Our last section here is the template section. This is where you can upload and customize your static or animated overlays for your experiences. For example, if we go into stills, you will see a variety of demo templates that we have already set up. If you click into the template library, you will see we have a wide range of different template sizes. You can select the size that will best suit your event and upload your own stills or animated template. If you have a custom overlay and need a custom template, click Create New and design the template according to your specifications. Under the video section, you will also be able to create custom video experiences using our video effects builder. To see more in-depth tutorials on this, please check out the link in the caption. We also have a library of pre-made video templates for you to choose from. And that's just a quick run through of our demo event. If you need a more in-depth look at how to set up a new event, we have a few walkthrough videos available on our YouTube page. If you have questions regarding any of the features, settings and possibilities, you are welcome to reach out to our live support team via the chat bubble on the dashboard. They are available 24 seven and will gladly answer any questions you may have. In order to run your event, you will need to download the Snapic app onto the device you will be using in the photo booth at your event. Snapic works on iPhone and iPad. We highly recommend using the latest devices so that your images and videos are of the best quality. We also have direct DSLR integration, but you will still need to connect your DSLR to an iOS device. On your iOS device, go to the App Store and search for Snapic Booth. Download the app and sign in using the same credentials you used to register your Snapic account previously. Once you have logged in, your event will show up on the app. The best way to learn how to use the Snapic app is to test it on the device you'll be using at your events. However, if you just need to send a quick template example to your clients and you want to do it from your Snapic dashboard on your desktop or laptop, you can use the test event template option shown here. This will allow you to send an example of the created templates to yourself or your client. Jumping back to testing the event on your iOS device. 
you will see a tab for your live, upcoming and past events. The demo event should show up first, as it is currently your only live event. Click on the demo event. Here you can see an overview of your events, as well as the status of your media and queue management. In this configuration section, you will be able to toggle what features you want at your event. You can also select the accessories that you want to connect with your event, such as a 360 booth by clicking here. Here you can preview your composition artwork to confirm it all looks good. Configure camera is where you would select what camera on your iOS device you want to use to record your photos, GIFs, boomerangs and videos taken at your booth. If you are using a DSLR, the selection for that will also appear here. Configure printer is where you would select your printer if you have enabled printing at your event. At the bottom here, we have the option to start the sharing booth. You would only click this option if this device is going to be used as a sharing station. However, we are using this device for our main photo booth, so we will click start photo booth. You will then be asked to name your device so that it can easily be identified. After that, you are taken to a screen where you can adjust your camera settings. There are a number of things you can change, such as exposure, focus, and white balance. You can adjust your camera settings here, or you can do it during the live preview by swiping up with three fingers. That will bring up the same menu. Click Start Booth. You are then taken to the Attract screen. Here you will see an example of the different types of buttons you can upload. We have animated buttons, static buttons, and the standard default buttons. This section here only appears if you have QR interaction selected when you are setting up your event options. It is used to scan a QR code for features such as QR contactless sharing. Now you are ready to test the event. You can choose one of the experience options and take a few snaps. Please note that all photos, GIFs, boomerangs and videos will be watermarked on this demo event. Now that you have tested out our awesome software, and are ready to purchase a subscription with us, you might be wondering which plan would work best for you. We have three different plans available. The Pro and Enterprise plans can be purchased per event, monthly or annually. The Pro plan is our entry-level option. It is ideal if you're just starting out and are doing a few smaller events to test your booth out or if you're doing more basic events that don't require any of the advanced features. Our enterprise plan is what we recommend you use going forward. This package will allow you to utilize most of Snapix features and will let you create amazing photo booth experiences for your clients. You will also need to purchase the enterprise plan if you're running any video activations, such as a 360 booth as this plan includes our video effects builder. The Enterprise Plus plan is for more advanced users who are scaling their business and need higher management options. If you need help deciding which plan is right for you, check out our website and compare the different plans under the Features tab. You can also contact our support team if you have any questions. They are available 24-7. We hope that this has been a helpful guide on how to get started with Snapic. We wish you a long and successful photo booth career 
And we hope that you'll be joining the Snapic family so that we can help your business reach its full potential.